everyone and welcome back to Brooke's Beauty Bazaar. My name is Brooke and in today's video I'm going to be changing things up and bringing you guys a fall fashion style haul. Roll the footage. Channel, we normally talk about skincare and more specifically skincare from a fungal acne perspective but in addition to skincare I love very many other things and fashion happens to be one of those and I'm guessing some of you guys love fashion too so now would be a great opportunity if you would love to see more fashion content and maybe other things as well go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and also tell me something you want to see from me in the comments below and if you guys don't want to see fashion, but you are very interested in the skincare videos that I have, then feel free to go over to my YouTube homepage and pick from one of the 125 skincare videos that I have made for you already. So I'm going to be doing a bit of a show and tell with some items that I recently purchased for my fall wardrobe. I'm also going to overlay some footage where I style these pieces a few different ways so you can see how I plan to wear them. So if 2020 has taught me one thing, you guys, I think it's about consumerism in general and just the excessiveness that I used to approach it with, especially in the fashion realm and just owning lots of different things. So when I approached this particular shopping trip, I kind of had to evaluate what I had on hand and decide what is it that I actually needed and how can I buy things that are going to not only work together, but they're also going to work with everything that I already have in my wardrobe. And I really feel like I have accomplished it. So the first piece that I picked up on my shopping trip is actually this incredible fuzzy sweater from H&M. I think it was around the $40 mark. I'm going to not tell you guys prices because I'm bound to get them wrong, but I will link everything below or at least similar items if I can't find exacts. What I love about the sweater is it's kind of just your everyday perfect sweater cardigan. Um, it is a true cardigan, so you could unbutton it and wear it that way, but I really have been into the idea of wearing like cardigans buttoned up as just your normal top. So this one is amazing. It's v-neck, so it's more flattering. It is a cropped version as well, so that kind of goes with so many different pieces. But what really makes it a little extra special is that it's got this fuzzy texture to it, and it also has these beautiful tortoise shell buttons on it that are really like well-proportioned, and I just think it looks really nice on. I feel like this sweater can be paired so many different ways. So the classic way, obviously, that you could pair it for everyday wear is just with a good pair of jeans that you really love. I actually just picked up this pair that I'm also wearing right now in this video um, from Express and actually my need for a good pair of jeans is what drove me to go shopping in the first place because I just needed some that were high-waisted and just comfortable because all of mine just don't fit right anymore. So these actually only cost me $29. I do remember the price of them because I think they're so amazing. What I particularly love about these jeans is that they have the button fly and I think button flies make everything look so much more elevated. And then they are also a stretch jean and I used to hate stretch jeans. I thought they looked terrible on me, but I am here to admit to you guys, I am wrong about that and they're actually amazing. So if you're looking for a really good pair of skinny jeans, I would highly recommend these. Because this outfit is such a basic one that anyone can wear and it kind of looks generic, I think the way that you have to make this more unique is by adding your special accessories to it. So I really like to wear this particular outfit with my snakeskin pointed Jeffrey Campbell booties. Um, I think it gives it a little bit of an extra flair. I also think you could do colorful or sparkly booties with this. Um, if you guys are looking for a really cool pair of new booties. I actually have 16 pairs linked in a new blog post that you should go check out right now. And I promise you guys, they're not just generic booties that everyone is pushing at you right now. They're actually ones that I took the time to research and find so that they were a little bit more unique and exciting because I really believe in doing it up with all of your accessories. And by the way, the link for that blog post is in the description below. Just look for the booty emojis. Next up, this is the midi skirt that I purchased. It is by Lucy Paris, which you can shop at Dillard's or on LucyParis.com. 
Um, this is a pleated midi skirt in a twall type of a pattern, but the pattern also has a more like Asian grungy vibe to it. So I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I truly believe that there are very few things on this planet more flattering to every single body type than an A-line pleated midi skirt. The other great thing about midi skirts is you can dress these up or down depending on how you actually wear them. So I got this one because it's the perfect neutral and I have been pairing it so far with this t-shirt that I got from the um, camp exhibit at the Met. Um, when I was on a trip to New York seeing that exhibit, I actually purchased this because it's one of my favorite ones I've ever seen and I wanted to commemorate it. Um, this shirt looks so good tied up with the skirt and then depending on what shoe you wear with it, you can kind of go for more of a grungy vibe or you can go for something a little more classy. You can also put obviously like higher end pieces and more fancy clothes with this skirt and have a totally demure look. I feel like it's so timeless and chic and I feel like this is one of those pieces where I purchase it now but five years from now I'll still be wearing it and people will say where did you get that and I'll have to say oh I got this five years ago at Dillard's they're definitely not gonna have it anymore while we're on the topic of dresses and skirts which I don't know if we were really on the topic of um, I actually picked up this dress from Express as well Express was really coming through um, for me. I will tell you guys, I'm going to link a similar one because it turns out that the Express in my mall is now an outlet version of Express. And so they don't have a website for the outlet version. You just have to kind of, you know, strike it when it's hot and hope that you can find the good things. But some of yours might still have this in stock. This is a wrap dress. It has a nice leopard print over this beautiful um, jewel toned green color and it hits just a little bit over the knee, but in kind of the perfect spot. So it doesn't feel like a mini dress, which does not work on my body type. I'm just here to let you guys know. And when I tried this out in the dressing room, I knew instantly how I would wear this. I was going to put it with my over the knee boots, add some fun accessories and give it a really 70s vibe. I'm like 70s through and through. I will never not love a 70s type of a silhouette. Um, this dress is so amazing too, just because it really is that perfect length. It's so comfortable. It's flowy and non-restrictive, but it looks very flattering and figure hugging in the right way. Now, one problem with these kind of inexpensive dresses like this tend to be that they come with the matching belt, which are totally fine and you can rock this. But if you want to really elevate a dress like this, you should swap that belt out for more of a traditional belt. I picked this one up on the clearance section at H&M for $3. It's got this kind of Western themed belt buckle. It's very slim though. Um, and it was way too big for me, but it ended up being perfect because I could then tie it around and kind of wrap the belt and knot it in a specific way to make it look a little more stylish, which I really loved. I will tell you guys, I'm not gonna be able to link this belt, but I'm gonna link some that I'm actually gonna purchase from Amazon because they are more impactful and I think they'll look even better with this dress. And by the way, are you guys currently loving belts as much as I am? I feel like I'm totally obsessed again. Let me know your opinion in the comment section below right now and what style you particularly like. And if you don't have an opinion, press the subscribe button right now because I have a lot more where that came from. So another piece that I actually picked up at H&M is this jumpsuit. It's in this navy color. It's kind of a satiny material. It's very slinky. Kind of got like the goulash pants vibe to it. Very like wide leg trouser vibe. And I ended up picking this up just because I came across it on the sale rack. I think it was like $20 or less. This is gonna be another one of those items that you can so easily go from the office to a night out. Um, I would go to the office with this with a blazer over it. I paired it with a blazer that I found a couple of years actually on a discount rack at Gap and it was like perfectly almost custom fit to my body and I've gotten so much use out of it. I feel like a good black blazer is something everyone needs and if you can't find one that kind of hits all the right marks, find one and get it tailored to you because it's something that you'll have forever. And because that is such a neutral outfit on its own, I think to put some really like statement jewelry pieces with it, I personally paired it with some Anna Wintour inspired necklaces that my sister got me for Christmas and some really beautiful jewel toned colors. I'm just absolutely obsessed with how it turned out. And then if you wanted to make it a little more demure, obviously you can add a coat over it or you can wear it without a coat, just depends on the setting. And that brings me to the last piece, which is this lilac single breasted coat that I got from H&M. 
So this is kind of like a calf length jacket on me, I believe it might go a little bit below my calf, but it's definitely not a duster style. Absolutely love this piece because it is not only lilac, which I've been really wanting a lilac coat for a really long time, but it also is very lightweight. And where I live, the average temperature in the winter is like 55 degrees daytime. So you really don't need anything too heavy. So this kind of just hits all the marks. Now in my store, they only had it in this shade, but they do have, I believe, three other colors available on their website. So I will link this for you guys. So this again is single breasted. And if you do button it, it gives you one of those very straight down silhouettes. So it's definitely not figure flattering. It's not gonna be for everyone, but I absolutely love the vintage vibe that it lends. So those are all of the pieces that I actually bought new. And then what I ended up doing was mixing them up with all of the shoes that I already owned, all of the jewelry that I already own and all of the purses. I had so much fun putting this video together for you guys and trying on everything, playing dress up for a little bit of my day. If you guys also enjoyed it, I would love it if you could give it a thumbs up for me and also just comment below if you enjoyed it and if you wanna see more stuff like this. I made a fun reel of all of these looks over on my Instagram, so make sure you're following me there at Brooks Beauty Bazaar because I hang out there every single day. Many of you may not know this, but I actually have a blog as well. It's brooksbeautybazaar.com and you can check out so much good stuff over there. In fact, don't forget to check out that booties post. It is over there and I will link it in the bar below. And very quickly, I'm gonna direct your attention to the left side of the screen where I'm linking two videos I think you'll really enjoy. The first one is my review of the Maybelline Superstay Foundation and the second is Fungal Acne Friendly Moisturizers.